fellow language learning nerds. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing much better than me. <laughs> Who have I've been suffering from uh, uh, cold and flu symptoms for like almost four weeks now. Yay! <laughs> However, I finally feel well enough to actually do something a bit more productive. Yeah! <laughs> so I'm getting a video out. Um, and today's video I thought I would talk about um, just just um, my recent language uh, kind of situation. So basically a language learning update. Um, it's coming to the end of the year now so I thought it's a, uh, a good uh, time left. I think uh, I think when, when this video goes up there's only like two weeks left in the year so yeah it's a, it's a good time to do this right probably maybe i don't know i'm gonna talk about it anyway <laughs> this year i think the two biggest challenges i've had for language learning have been one um trying to do the the jlp n4 which was all the way back in the summer um and then for this second half of the year it's been um trying to trying to work language learning around my job you know <laughs> it's very easy to you know after a day of work you come home and then you're like oh I'm just a bit too tired to do it I'll do I'll do some tomorrow and then tomorrow comes and then you're like oh I'm just just a bit too tired after work today I'll do it tomorrow and then it can go like a whole week and you haven't done anything so <laughs> trying to learn how to work work around blah, 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 trying to work language learning around work <laughs> um, has been kind of challenging uh, for this this uh, later half of this year um, but I'm still I'm getting used to it I'm getting I'm getting used to it um, so yeah so hopefully that will Im that's been steadily improving and hopefully will continue to improve um, as I head into the new year as I said <coughs> As I had said, um, I've not been very well in the last four-ish weeks. I've had two flus and uh, two cold sores. Mm, I hate cold sores. They're such a tiny little thing, but they completely ruin my whole mood. And I just, I just feel completely sorry for myself. <laughs> Even when it's not a bad cold sore and it's just a tiny little thing, and I can just get on for the rest of my day like normal, but <laughs> if, if I'm not doing anything, like <laughs> if I have the whole day to myself, if I wake up with a tiny little cold sore, I'm like, no, I'm gonna stay in bed all day. I need chocolate, meh. <laughs> but particularly with the flu, I haven't been able to do much studying at all. I've just been coughing and sniffing, sniffling and snotting my way through the day and I have not had any energy uh, to study at all which it feels a bit of, a little bit um, demotivating when you're you're too sick to do anything and then you just feel kind of bad because now it's been one week two week three weeks and you've barely done anything <clears throat> I even had to not go to my weekly class which has really bummed me out it even interrupted my reading my reading of um a manga um that i i was i was like yeah i'm gonna do some reading and then the first flu hit and then i was like i'm not in the mood to do anything i've lived on youtube videos for the past few weeks <laughs> so yeah so unfortunately recently not a lot of uh, of study only in this last week I'd say have I had enough energy to come to my desk here this is usually where I do study um, I've only recently been able to have enough energy and motivation to actually sit here and just do a little bit it's been me, 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 me. that's enough back to bed <laughs> but hopefully that's all ending now I'm getting better I am getting better <laughs> It can be a bit tricky to kind of get back into studying when you've had a bit of a break, whether, you know, because you've had to have a break or um, whether, you know, that's just been something you just wanted to take a break for a while. Getting back into it can be a bit tricky, 
but I'm determined to get back in there as much as I can. <laughs> Speaking of reading manga, um, because I've uh, recently read uh, another another manga, which I will probably do a little video on soon, I don't know when exactly, um, uh, I ha it has meant that I've read three manga this year in Japanese. Um, which I was hoping to um, it that this year <laughs> I would be able to read more, <laughs> at least one or two more uh, manga, maybe get up to like five or six or something. Um, but I wasn't able to, and I think it. <laughs> I I started like November with a kind of a big like yeah, do some reading yeah, and then the end of November just completely stopped me. So I feel like I could have been able to get at least one more in. However. However, um, it does mean that I matched last year's reading amount with this year's reading amount. So at least there's that. At least there's that. <laughs> and I do still have um, um, my little uh, my little pile, both physical and digital pile of manga books in Japanese that I can I can read. And I might try and uh, start January off with uh, like a reading. I don't know what the word is just a reading mood I don't I don't know what I'm trying what word I'm trying to think of but I might start strong with reading manga maybe I don't know I would like to <laughs> very recently um in fact this week when I was starting it to get back into study started to get uh, I was doing my kanji practice if you've seen a few of my videos before you might have picked up on the fact that I love kanji I really like studying them and um i feel like ages ago i was like oh i'm about to hit i'm about to get to my 500th th th my 500th 500th th th <laughs> i was about to hit number uh, kanji number 500 <laughs> is what i'm trying to say um and then just before that a kind of uh kind of I just kind of lost it on the kanji things. I was studying other things. So it was just like maintaining my kanji knowledge. So it didn't move at all. I've been at the end. I don't know where my book is. Oh, it's over there. I've been at the end of my book, my kanji book for so long. <laughs> I'm like, I'm nearly finished, but I feel like I've been nearly finished for ages. However, I've started back on kanji and I can officially say I now know over 500 kanji and I feel so good about it yeah yeah <laughs> um, so yeah um yeah that's felt really good realizing that I've seen the number on the kanji and be like oh it's past 500 now yay <laughs> that, that felt really good so that was a good start to me coming back into studying after my absence that you know there was, that was something that was very motivating <laughs> So yeah, lots of kanji. <laughs> so that was a few things um, that have been happening recently, um, which isn't as much as I was hoping it was going to be because I had to, had to stop for a while. However, um, because it's coming to the end of the, the year, I am starting to think a little bit about looking forward into next year. I mean, I mentioned about maybe starting January off with uh, some reading kanji, uh, reading some manga rather. <laughs> which would be reading kanji, so yeah, same thing. <laughs> my penciled in goal for next year, for next year, December, so I've literally got the entire year to um, to kind of study and plan for it, is that maybe, maybe I'll try and do the next level up in JLPT. So that would be JLPT N3. Um, maybe I'll start studying, looking for, like looking towards that as my goal. I do already have a couple of uh, N3 uh, vocabulary books that I can work with, uh, as well as a grammar book um, that's just here, in fact, the one that I bought a while ago. You might remember that if, um, I think I showed it off in a, in a video um, a little bit ago. Uh, but yeah, so I have a little something that I can start doing um, almost as soon as, I, as soon as I feel like it, really. Um, but yeah, I think that would be like a, a slow burn goal for next year. Um, and I think I'll, I'll I, the, my idea is to take the, the test uh, in December. So exactly a year's time almost. 
I don't want to to rush it too much. <laughs> I know I could take the exam in July, but yeah, I don't want to uh, rush it. There's no need for me to to rush it. I'm I haven't got like you know I'm not trying to get into a university or trying to get. Uh, a job in Japan or anything it's just it's just my own personal goal I don't have to do the N3 I just feel like it would be a a good goal something for me to aim at that can focus my my study um or if I don't really know what direction to go in that's something that I can I can use to pull me forward in in um in my learning and that's pretty much it, I think, apart from the usual sort of, I want to do more uh, listening and speaking practice because I always need to do more listening and speaking practice. That's that's me all the time now. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed listening to my little update. Please, please do feel free to let me know about any of your language updates, even if it's a different language. I know I always talk about speak um, studying Japanese, but. Uh, if you want to tell me about your language learning journey when it comes to Spanish or Korean, anything, I don't mind. I would like to like to um, hear about it. What are your goals for next year? What have you achieved this this year? What did you, what did you do? Let me know. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I will hopefully see you in the next video. Hopefully, I will be feeling a lot better. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, see you in the next video and remember, may your grammar be structured and your vocabulary varied. Bye!